Hi, in this video we are going to learn how to create a table of some trigonometric ratios. By trigonometric ratios I mean sine, cos and tan. And in this video we are going to create a table of some important angles which is 0 degrees, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees. First you create a table like this where sine, cos and tan are written in the first column and then we have the values of angles written like this 0 degree, 30 degrees, 45 degrees, 60 degrees and 90 degrees and now let's try to fill this table first we will fill all the values of sine so just write down numbers from 0 to 4 in order so first will come 0 then 1 then we'll have 2 3 and 4 right and then you divide all these numbers by 4 0 divided by any number is 0 itself. 1 by 4 will remain as it is. This will be equal to 1 by 2. And 3 by 4 will again remain as it is. And 4 by 4 will be equal to 1. Right? And what is next? Next you take the square root of these values. So if I take square root of 0, I'll get 0 again. If I take square root of 1 by 4, I'll get 1 by 2 because square root of 1 is 1 and square root of 4 is 2 and if I take square root of 1 by 2 I'll get 1 by root 2 and if I take square root of 3 by 4 I'll get root 3 in the numerator and 2 in the denominator because square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 3 can be written as root 3 and square root of 1 is 1. So what do we have now? These values written in green are actually the values of sine. Sine 0 is 0, sine 30 is 1 by 2, sine 45 is 1 by root 2, sine 60 is root 3 by 2, sine 90 is 1, right? And how to find the values of cos? You just write down all these values in reverse order. That means cos 0 will be equal to sine 90, which is 1 cos 30 will be equal to sine 60 which is root 3 by 2 cos 45 will be equal to sine 45 that is 1 by root 2 cos 60 will be equal to sine 30 that is 1 by 2 and cos 90 will be equal to sine 0 that is 0 and how to find the values of tan we know that tan theta is equal to sine theta by cos theta Right, so tan 0 will be equal to sine 0 by cos 0, that is 0 by 1, which is 0. Tan 30 will be 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2, that is 1 by root 3. Tan 45 will be 1 by root 2 divided by 1 by root 2, that is 1. Tan 60 will be root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2, that is root 3. And tan 90 will be 1 by 0, that is either written as infinity or sometimes you say it is not defined because any number divided by 0 is not defined right this table actually comes from unit circle method and if you want to see the proof of it you can see the video on which I am explaining the proof of unit circle method and you can find other trigonometric ratios also cosec theta is 1 by sin theta sec theta is 1 by cos theta and cot theta is 1 by tan theta using the same table and after this we are going to do a series of videos in which we are going to represent each of these trigonometric ratios in the form of other ratios like we are going to represent sin theta in terms of cos theta, tan theta, sec theta, cosec theta and cot theta. We will represent cos theta again in terms of sin theta, tan theta, sec theta, cosec theta and cot theta. Right? So keep watching MathsMath and bye bye till then.